Hi, welcome to Volleyball 101. I'm here with Ryan Kendrick from Dynamic Tape and today we're going to be talking about a new type of tape called biomechanical tape and some of its purposes and uses around volleyball injuries. Um, you know, the purpose of this video is, you know, to help you become aware of, you know, there's some amazing new solutions that are available. You know, the science is just off the charts nowadays of some of the things you can do to help yourself. But often people just don't know or are not aware of what they don't know. You know, it's like you don't know what you don't know. So our goal is to share some basics and some ideas that you can now approach your trainer with. And your trainer can go, hey, well, that's something I want. Or if your trainer doesn't know, they can go, well, here's a resource at Dynamic Tape that you guys can use. So the first thing we want to talk about is this pelvic stability and lower back. Tell me a little bit more and some of the injuries associated and the ways of taping this. Right. So... We often get you know, problems in that, in that what we call your sacroiliac joint, so between the, the two wings of your pelvis and, and then the center, uh, you know, the spine or the extension of the spine, the sacrum at the bottom there. And you know, often we see that in, in things where we're getting a lot of uh, trunk rotation and landing and things like that as well. You know, we see it in our cricketers as well, for example. And so uh, what we can do is, is we can actually use the tape, it's, it's like uh, a big rubber band really to give us some compression and, and, and help to stabilize us through that sacroiliac joint. Uh, the other problem is that this is really useful for is, is some of our hip, we often get this hip impingement syndrome we call it in the front of the knee, uh, sorry in the front of the hip and then we can also get problems with our lower limb where we're collapsing one way or the other so this helps to to improve the you know the stability around the pelvis if you like so we're not collapsing this way or that way. Perfect, so, so show me the basics. Yeah so look we can start off on the pelvis if I get you to hold the arms. This one's not sticky, but obviously we'd be using a sticky one, but for this purpose, we just use this and we sweep around the hip and then come up and we can even bring this hip into external rotation. So yeah, turn you out and then we can come up. If you step forward with your, your left leg there and that brings this, this leg into extension and then we come right up behind and we lock this off over to the other side. So we now end up with a full loop there that's gonna compress your pelvis okay. and help to stabilize. And this here, because we cross over here, now for you to drop your hip out, you'll feel the resistance there oh, as yeah, you go totally, out. Yeah. It wants to resist you, so it helps you to keep that alignment and not, not drop off or collapse on that leg. Interesting stuff, eh? Now, this is going to basically stabilize your hips. Now, a lot of the injuries nowadays is because of the spinal stability and this hip problems. Right, so a lot of it is, you know, we, we look at that core stability, you know, as you're aware of, and, and, and controlling, having the right... Uh, timing and activation of our muscles in the trunk and, and the, the ability for them to stay working you know under big loads that we're going to put through it but also the hip position the leg position on the you know relative to the pelvis as well and so this is a, a way of addressing that we also get a really nice force which you can probably feel up yeah, can, lifting you up through, through there yeah, right. which sort of helps to stabilize that hip in its socket as well to really help improve what's going on around the hip. Now um, yeah a point is you know this video you know I think is a little bit more advanced. I don't know if you could necessarily do some of these tapings yourself, but our point is to show you and help your trainers become aware of some of the amazing advances out there. You know, this biomechanical tape by Dynamic Tape is like a 200, over 200% 200 stretchability. Right, and strong recoil and stretch in all directions so we don't lock you up. We can do something like this and we can cross, you know, your whole spine, multiple joints and still get you moving through full range but have that strong recoil, like that strong bungee effect. So it really allows you to take off load, you know, and that's often the biggest problem is this loading, loading, loading on the joints and also move your joints in different ways to protect them. Um, if you're interested in finding out more information or if you want to pass your trainers on, make sure they check out dynamictape.com. There's some great instructional videos on more advanced techniques. Absolutely. As well as uh, we've shot some great stuff in volleyball one-on-one, -on -one. a lot of the basic uh, taping where you could do it yourself, a coach, a uh, parent, uh, some of that stuff. Also for the most common volleyball injuries, we've, we've addressed all of those. Also we've shot some really cutting edge new videos on uh, using dynamic tape to change your form. Uh, as far as we know of, it's never been used where people have gone and actually used tape as a way to actually correctively correct themselves. And this dynamic tape allows you to do that because of the stretching factor of the tape. You can check out those videos at volleyball101.com as well as if you're interested in a free sample, we have a free sample at volleyball101.com. Again, Ryan, thank you. Welcome. Really, uh, great stuff. Uh, Ryan has worked with some of the best players in the world. Uh, 
on tennis, rugby, cricket, you know, as well as this tape has been used by people in the professional volleyball world, for example, on the Brazilian national team, a lot of the trainers use the dynamic tape there. Okay, thank you.